of course, uh, AI and the foundations of AI go, go way back before it was part of the popular uh, language or popular uh, press. Um, actually, Bell Labs invented the concept of convolutional neural networks. Jan Le Kuhn invented that when he was at Bell Labs, and that's a foundational mathematical piece that underlies all AI and machine learning. Uh, so we've been doing a lot of research on AI for a number of years, and we really see AI applying to a number of sectors, whether it's in the networking space or in the industrial enterprise, industrial automation space. And when we look at the networking side, it spans the entire life cycle of a network. From the design, we want to build AI native networks and build AI into the network right from the beginning to then how we deploy the network, where should we deploy the, the base stations, how we operate, how we improve, how do we configure the base stations after they've been deployed. For example, how do we use AI to improve the energy efficiency based on time changing traffic patterns? And then to how do we maintain, how do we care for the networks? How can we use AI machine learning for predictive maintenance to anticipate uh, failures on the equipment and replace the equipment before uh, there's any interruption of traffic. So we really see AI spanning the entire uh, life cycle of the network. And then when we look at industrial applications that run on top of the networks, there we see a lot of applications from industrial automation, data analytics, uh, robotics of course relies a lot on AI, uh, but also as we connect multiple devices to the network, not all of the intelligence and the AI will run into the cloud, we also see a lot of opportunities for running AI and very sophisticated AI algorithms and models on end devices at the very far edge. Specifically, uh, very constrained devices like your smart glasses, your watch, your ring, um, any wearable devices that have more and more compute power but are still limited compared to the compute power on the cloud. How do we take advantage of the power of AI in these constrained environments with battery compute and battery limitations and compute limitations. One other aspect that we're doing research on is on language models. Of course, we know ChatGPT, but ChatGPT is a very, very large model that's trained on all the public data. But from an enterprise perspective, not all of my information is publicly available, whether it's Nokia documents specifically about Nokia products, or it may be customer information that is proprietary that's in the customer premise, but is not publicly available. So how do we train specific language models that are focused on the data and the documents that are relevant to your enterprise context? So we've developed a Nokia language model that is doing incredibly well because it's trained on 20,000 Nokia documents that are relevant, uh, relevant for our products. It doesn't have all the capabilities of ChatGPT, but it does really well in a specific context. And that can help customers uh, use Gen AI on the Nokia products, but also we can improve that and augment the Nokia language model with customer specific information and de develop um, a language model that's relevant to the customer in that environment. 